Okay, alright guys, so we're about to be wrapping up, but um, I want to go over a couple more things, and I think you'll be able to make very cool stuff here, and you'll be able to really understand why this is a powerful program. So, now let's say we want to have a header. I'd be thinking, what the heck is that, and why would I need it? Um, this would be also another branding opportunity um, if you wanted to kind of display your website, you know, or just the classical book pages and things like that. Uh, this is why I wouldn't do it because it, it, it stamps it every single location. But that's giving you an example, you know, some other things you can do. Um, okay, and then this is also pretty important. Um, if you go here on the left side, you're going to be able to get your view of the book. Content. Really, all you're going to... Um, you're gonna want to go through this for is being able to like line by line adjust things and look at stuff so for example if you go into content you can see uh, container artifact Amazon so that's you know it's saying there's this welcome to the jungle text image the aspects of the image and then we have the bookmarks which is probably the one of the most useful features in this to categorize and organize uh, so you can simply start off with doing things like um, I'll give you some examples chapter one obviously uh, if you're gonna do this is not for resume stuff. Obviously, most resumes are just one pages. This is for people when you start working on a, a novel, whatever it is, if you're going to work on some kind of even nonfiction technical writing piece or a guide to something. So it's like getting started. also just put um, other things that might be related to it so let's say um, chapter one you know I'm going to talk about Scrivener and getting started with writing now so whenever uh, this is the way to work the bookmarks Whenever you drop the bookmark, meaning whatever page you're on and you press this add bookmark, it's going to bookmark that page, obviously, because you know, it's thinking, hey, the user wants to bookmark this page. Um, but when you start working, you'll see sometimes your brain might want to, hey, I want to have a chapter three, but chapter three is not made yet maybe i didn't add the pages but i know i want to add it so we're not going to talk about that for now we're just going to do it the simple route so what i'm going to do is now let's say this page let's say this page i'm going to call see how this untitled went back to here because it was already added chapter so this one would be chapter two so now you're able to start to bounce around and really get your main concepts flowing because this is no content in here right now you get 
chapters and more complex things going, it's going to be a whole different story. Okay, so as you can see, what I did here is a bit more um, along the lines of how I want you guys to think about the keywords. So there's keywords that you can add on the screen. Obviously, you can type whatever you want, and that's going to be your keyword that you're using throughout the book. You know, let's say if you're talking about a, uh, you're writing a book on successful habits, one of those motivational top sellers, that's, that's the whole book idea that you have. You're like, Hey, I want to create one of those books. Okay. What you're going to want to do is have words that you cycle through. If you read almost any of those style of books. That's how they operate. They're going to have things like, okay, obviously success is probably going to be one of the most used words, but you also hear like prosperity or abundance and all that kind of stuff. So keeping that in mind, let's say you're working on chapter two and you're like, okay, done with chapter one. Now I'm going on chapter two. What the heck am I going to write? You don't know what to do. So you can start off, you know, create uh, the, the font, create, you know, chapter two, maybe think of even a working title. I'm like, okay, maybe you did a little bit of design. You're like, uh, okay, now I thought of the idea for the book. Or, or maybe you're going to spend some time on designing the chapter two uh, in Photoshop. So five, ten minutes later, come back. Okay, I did enough design. Now time to get back to writing. So you're sitting there. And you're thinking, okay, what should I write? The easiest way to get everything flowing, for me at least, is to, once I've established this chapter two, now I'm going to just throw in some things that you're going to want to cover there. You know, some bullet points or some things that you think might be valuable as a, as a keyword because every book that you're going to write is going to have a certain amount of the letter a or the and those kind of things those aren't keywords those are just really basic english punctuations and really basic i mean technically like the word i you know you can say it's like, oh, it's a real word, but you know, for this purpose and for like creative writing, writing things that are not the cat crossed the street or whatever, you know, some simple three sentence thing for like children. Um, not that like writing children's book is bad, but, but what I'm saying is to really create a good almost like a a skeleton for your book 